What can I do for you? I am begging you for protection. I am al Qaim, a merchant from Cayenne, a city across the sea. For many years I led my caravans across the desert. The Almighty was kind to me until I directed my camels to the Red Sands, where we were attacked by robbers. They took away all my goods and killed the servants. Only three people survived. My nephew, Selim, my loyal slave, and me. But that was not the end of my misfortune. A terrible wind rose. We lost our way and roamed the sands until eventually we came to a dead city. I cursed that day. We came to the desolate temple looking for a night's lodging and found piles of treasure there. Innumerable riches such as no human eye had ever laid eyes on. Greed made me blind and I lost my mind. I told the slave to kill Selim while he was sleeping and took the treasure. Now I have no peace. Soon, very soon, Selim's ghost will come, come to me. He swore to get his revenge, and he won't rest until he fulfills his oath. I have crossed the sea. I have tried to hide in faraway lands, but I feel he is coming closer. I beg you, please protect me. You see, Earl, uh, what's your name? Mister from over the sea. My responsibilities not include protecting insane citizens from ghosts that visit them in dreams. Oh, you go see a doctor. Good luck. The lock's so old that the door will open if you kick it. The guard, he doesn't give a hoot. I gotta choose better gin. Here are the goods they confiscated from me. Whaler gin, just what I need. I must wake the policeman up. How'd you like my gin, Sergeant? Nice mash, isn't it? Well, you'll take it into consideration at a court hearing. Your case is absolutely hopeless, fella. You gotta pay 150 coins in three days.
The laws, the laws of our health require that the ship named Smokey be impounded for transporting smuggled goods. <laughs> Last it. You better hurry up, Jazz. I get the point. A hundred and fifty coins, or farewell to the Smokey. Too bad. Maybe I should sink the Smokey rather than hand it over to the enemy. Yeah, I see the authorities aren't wasting any time. There's someone in here. Oh, is it? What do you want? I'm Jazz. I was put in jail for gen smuggling. I've just been released from the police station. You are a lucky devil, Jazz. Lucy and me are gonna be here for a long time. Lucy's my best actress. You know I'm an animal trainer. I work with rats. I admire these kind animals. Alas, in this city, even this armless job carries a big risk. Do you know, yesterday my Lucy bit a policeman. Hello. Hello, my friend. You don't look well. If I were you, I'd drop in at the tavern. You'll meet Hugo there. He's been asking about you recently. Hey, Hank, wake up. Jazz, oh, Sonny, haven't you got a cigar for old Hank? I'm skinned, Hank. Hi, Hugo, how's it going? I'm okay. But you aren't. I hear your smokey's been impounded. Yes, together with the goods. I need 150 coins to ransom it, and I've got none. You know I never lend money, but I'll buy the rights to the smokey for 50 coins. You won't get a better offer for an impounded ship. Want to pay police redemption fees and get the ship for only 200 coins? Well, what did you expect? Business is business, Jazz. Okay. It's yours. You've got no choice. Farewell to Smokey. Damn dare help. I am glad to see you, Jazz. What would you like? A bottle of wine? Yes, I'll take a bottle. Here's your order. Do sit down with me, Miranda. Let's talk about my Smokey. Uh, I've always been a captain. Now I'm a nobody. All you lost was a ship. Have you heard what happened last night? Two foreigners were killed and decapitated. I don't know anything about it, but the town is buzzing with gossip. Some people say that Jack the Ripper has come to town. Others think there might be a whole band of pirates in Ed Elk. You know, I'm really scared. Uh-oh, time I got back to work. If you'll excuse me.
a lantern. This cannon used to signal the ship's path. Jesus, what a find. You can use it to crack nuts or harder stuff. seen you for ages, old man. Excellent wine. Try some. Wet your whistle. Thanks, Jazz. I spoke with the widow who lives nearby this morning. It was her who found the corpses of the tenants. Poor woman. She's still out of her wits. Strange rumors are going around town. Did you hear about the murder? What a wonderful wine, Jazz. Do you have any more? <laughs> One at a time, my friend. See, I am very busy. I am waiting for the cloth dealer and have no time for you. There's a terrible draft there and you can smell the slime a mile away. Colonial goods. Friend, this is a very expensive cloth, but I will give you a good discount. I will buy your cloth. Take this. Is that for me? What a beautiful gift. It is rare nowadays to meet a kind young man. How can I repay your kindness? Oh no, don't mention it. Could you please? The whole town is talking about some horrible murders. Could you satisfy my curiosity? Oh well. I was a victim of this affair myself. Yesterday, two foreigners came to rent my country house, and this morning I found both of them killed. It was awful. Now there's a big crowd out there. The police are looking for clues. As a matter of fact, I don't know much about it. If you're interested, you can go there and find out for yourself. It's not far from here. 
Just go along the canal. It's the first house out of town. It's cool here in the shade. A perfect place to hide from the heat. Strange rumors are going around town. You hear about the murder? <gasps> that was wonderful wine, Jazz. Do you have any more? <laughs> One at a time, my friend. Colonial goods. All smuggled right down to the last pin. It's wonderful singing serenades under this balcony, provided the lady it belongs to is worthy of it. There. As usual, where there's murder, there's always busybodies. What have you lost here? I was wondering what had happened here. The town is buzzing with gossip. I'm not surprised there's gossip. A murder has happened here. Two headless corpses and only one head. Satisfied? Got what you wanted? Now get out of here. Only a blind man could fail to find the evidence. Detectives. Hmm. Now I know how the police work. This one looks familiar. If you treat me to a good cigar, lad, I'll be able to help you. A gin bottle. Nasty mash. Nobody drinks it but Mata. He comes around quite often. I remember old Hank mentioning he knows where the man lives. Leave the cigars alone. I remember how you almost burnt my public house when you got tipsy the last time. Come butt in. I'm gonna get you. Hello. Can, can I ask you a couple of questions? Don't you see I'm busy? I've no time for chatting with you. If you want to make an order, sit at a table and you'll be attended to. You did that on purpose. Shut up. You were afraid of losing. What? I'll get you. Coward, you're finished. Police, police, help! That was a little trick, of course, but the right result. Here, have a cigar, Hank. 
Thanks, Jazz. This hat belongs to her mother. It's a tramp who lives under a bridge not far from the widow's house. Imagine what I need it for, but it might come in handy, I guess. A strong rope may come in handy, but how to get it off? I'll try to cut it up. A born sailor always needs a good rope. shower. Come on, wake up. Huh? What's this? What did he wake me up for? Don't whine. You'll find out what you need to know at the appropriate time. So what? It's just an ordinary hat. Where'd you think I found these things? Shall I tell you? Near the widow's country house, not far from where the crime was committed. Do you think I'm a murderer? No. No, I didn't kill anyone. I just happened to get drunk and fell asleep not far from that damn house. I woke up when I heard terrible cries from the house. Moments later, I saw a figure in a dark cloak. Someone ran along carrying bulky luggage. I don't know anything else. Okay, I believe you. Take your things. Thanks, Jazz. A fishy story. The case could be directly connected to the mysterious treasure the merchant was talking about. I must investigate this. for a man in a black cloak. Can you help me? Give me a cigarette, Jazz. Here, have a cigar, Hank. Thanks, Jazz. The man you're looking for has gone aboard the stock ship. I don't know where. They say the ship named Stork has left the port of Air Elp. What a funny guy he is. We don't like you. 
Okay. Now go away. They say the ship named Stork has left the port of Air Elp. No, Jazz, I don't know anything about a ship. Do you want to buy a bottle of wine? I don't need anything else. I'll take a bottle to please you. I see you're in a bad mood. Maybe it's because the booze is finished. Let me treat you. You're such a nice bloke. What are you asking about? A stalk? The captain of his ship has been here recently. He was coming down the stairs over there. You mortal, if you're desperate and eager to invoke magic forces, turn to a master magician on the first floor of this tavern. You can walk through my doors if you're clever and persistent enough. important matter to discuss with him. I could let you come in if you bring me a small gift. But keep in mind that I like only beautiful and expensive things. <laughs> but I have little money now. Where can a poor man find such an expensive trifle? That's not my problem. You can take them off the dead man. Friend, what are you doing here, Martyr? Oh, it's you, Jess. You scared me. Oh, Mia. Okay. Come to visit my grandma's grave. I see. And do you happen to know what they do with grave desecrators in Air Elp? Oh, Jazz, I hope you won't give me away. Oh, please, Jazz. Look what I found. Okay. I never saw you here. Thanks, Jazz. Cemeteries have always had a deep effect on me. I will f gravestones. They're everywhere. For my part, I want my grave to be under the waves, as befits a sailor. Gravestones. They're everywhere. For my part, I want my grave to be under the waves, as befits a sailor. This gravestone is too heavy. Whoa! Big bang! Which is better, a big gravestone or lots and lots of smaller ones? Don't answer that.
this is for you. I believe my master will receive you now. I have come to pay you my respect, sir. I would like to... I know, I know. You are Jazz, Captain of the Smoky, and all you care about is treasure. You have come to me to find out what you can about the Captain of the Stork. Yes, but how do you know? Magic has endowed me with the gift of clairvoyance, and you will know this soon. As for your question, yes, the captain of the stork came here, but he is a long way from Ur El Nath. The stork has gone to the Black Isles. Go, and if you need my help again, be prepared to return to the field. Looks like I'll have to go to the Black Isles. Jazz, go talk to Hugo. He has some important matters to discuss with you. Hi, Hugo. How's it going? I have a job for you. I want to hire you as the navigator on my ship, the Smoky. You'll take the goods to the Black Isles. If all goes well, I'll give you your ship back. You're not afraid I'll slip away with the ship and the goods, are you? Do you take me for a fool, Jazz? One of my men will go with you. He'll keep an eye on you and the goods. Okay. You'd better prepare to set sail. It's fate that's leading me to the Black Isles. I think I can find a use for this. A barrel with oil. Smoky. I must get on board the ship. Hugo the Antiquarian hired me as an navigator. Missing your sail, eh? I can put you back in it if you like. I urgently need to get to the ship. Get on the ship? You gotta be a magician for that.
port is closed. I must get past the guard and board the ship. I can, but knowledge comes at a price. You must bring me a grey stone and a dead man's head. I need them for my work. What do I need an old jug for? Who's out there? I'll just fire a shot or two in the dark to warn them. It's too bright in here with this lantern. Now that's a different matter. I might be able to eavesdrop on the talk of our vigilant detectives. Who else might need this fool's head? And I don't know why they'd need it. Stop it. Let's have a drink instead. Do you think so? There's no way I'm getting into the well. No, sir. I think there's someone on the porch. Who goes there? A thief in the night? There's nothing for you here. Go away. You're mistaken. I am interested in the well. Now the light is a bit softer. A ray of light would be enough. That's just the thing. Uh, 
I'd rather not do that. Just what I need. There's the head. Stop grinning. Think I can't get you? Carrying a severed head around town is dangerous. I've got to disguise it somehow. I'll just leave it here a while. It's safer this way. I wouldn't call it theft. I'll give the basket back to its owner. Anyway, I'll try to if I get the chance. You won't chatter your teeth on the way to the tavern. My respect, sir. I would like to stop bothering me. Go away. Still fresh. But I need a solid register, not just fragments. You will have to put them together by yourself.
You could have done it quicker. Okay. Here is the reward for your toil. I think these things will come in useful much sooner than you imagine. Here is the magic potion. This is how it works. Pour a drop of it onto a man, and he will disappear without leaving a trace. But do not overuse it. Oh, all my dreams have come true! Take your time. This amulet will be of service to you in a most unexpected way. Whoa, that's done it. The guy's evaporated. Magic is a serious business. Good old... Hey, Navigator! We're sailing to the Black Isles together. The goods have already been loaded, but we cannot set sail. The ship is full of rats, and I'm worried about the goods. We'll be stuck here until we get rid of these rodents. We'll have to think of something. Yeah, one more thing. We must turn on the lighthouse in the park. It may come in handy. Oh, it's you, Jazz. Nice of you to come. Looks like I'm stuck here for a long while, doesn't it? Have you anything to eat? Lucy's starving. She's eating all the rats around here already. I wouldn't mind a snack either. Listen, could you lend me your rat? No way. It's very dear to me. However, I might change my mind if you went to see me widow's mother and brought me some food. What do you want? Excuse me for troubling you, madam. I just wanted to inform you that right now your son is being held at the police station. Oh dear, my poor boy. He must be starving. I always said these horrible rats were nothing but trouble. I must take him something to eat. I will gladly perform this service for you. Let me take the food to the prison. Thank you so much. And tell him I'll come to see you soon.
have you brought the food, Jazz? You saved me from starvation, pal. Okay, the rat's yours. Lucy will come back to me when you're through with your problems. Yes, but how am I to carry it? Find the cage. I found the cage. Give me Lucy. It's yours. The lighthouse is so old that only its walls are still standing. Let's bring to the success of our undertaking. And to luck, Hank. We'll need it. Oh. Now I've got all the trump cards, babe. Old Hack knows how to dispose of. What's up? Why am I here? Did you put something in my wine, Hank? You're putting too many questions, Jazz. Well, don't worry, you'll understand everything now. We're in the Black Isles, and you're in the best cell of the local prison. It's up to me whether to keep you here or not. And it's a bit up to you as well, of course. You understood? Yes. But why? What for? And now it's my turn to ask questions. Oh, I heard you're looking for the treasure. I know, and you had some business with a magician. A black man in the tramp and saw a stranger. Now you tell me everything, or you'll be lost in present. <laughs> K 
keep in silent, eh? <laughs> well, you have plenty of time to think. Hey, there's something in here, I think. Oh, what a heavy slab. The scroll. And I thought there was an underground passage here. Well, all's fish that comes to the net. Let me read. This scroll was inscribed on a moonless night. It's meant to give you, the prisoner, plenty of might. A road to freedom will give you this feature. Read the incantation over a small creature. Then, what a pity the scroll stops here. And what the small creature means. Well, it's about the road to freedom anyway. The rat! Well, this creature seems to fit the description. Maybe I should give it a try. seems to fit the description. Maybe I should give it a try. Okay, you have plenty of time to think. I want you to know about the treasure. You can tell me everything. You'll die easily. Keep silent. Well, to begin with, I'll change the wall instead of this guy. You should know, old pirate. The need makes the old wife trot. In a few seconds, the cell will be really cramped. It's high time I left this place. Bloody foam is boiling. The wind is whistling a strange song. The migration of souls is predicted and will come true before long. What's wrong with you? Have fun, guys. I won't be in the way. Everything smells of prison here. Foul smell. going to set anything on fire. If there were gin here instead of water, I'd have to pay for it. stronger than the jail bar. I am Jazz, the captain without a ship. And who are you? What are you doing here? What am I doing here, hanging around? Stop talking and help me get free! The prison is full not only of good people, but rabble too. Why are you here? Maybe you don't deserve my help. I am captain of the stork. These rascals arrested me for fighting in a local bar. Someday I'll find the scoundrel responsible for this, and I'll show him a favor thing or two. What are you waiting for? Get me free! Hey, 
Hey, take this. You help me break the lock. What's the use of a wheel when you've got no cart? You don't need a cart if you don't have a horse. One old monkey in exchange for two new ones. Wanted, required. There's nothing worth reading here, just a normal trash. Broken furniture is an occupational hazard in any tavern. Who had the idea to light up fire when it's so hot? Maybe someone's cooking here. Broken furniture is an occupational hazard in any tavern. I've been looking for you, Captain. Well, not exactly for you, but for the passenger you took on board in Air Alp. A male passenger? Mm. A female passenger, to be more precise. It was a beautiful young lady. She asked me to take her to Cayenne, but that wasn't on my route. She got out here on the Black Isles. And how she got to Cayenne, I do not know. Ah, here you are. Do you know how much time I've spent in prison because of you? Wait up now! Cool it. Maybe you both got drunk and that caused the trouble. Especially as he's a sailor and it's the dirt deed to kill your own folks. Yes, you are right. I just got angry. Well, you did too, my friend, but I'm sorry. I think somewhere I got it wrong. I'm sorry, too. Well, it's high time I got on board ship. You can sail with me if you like, Jazz. The stork is leaving for Cayenne in an hour. I'll be there shortly, Captain. I'll wait for you on board, Jazz. Goodbye, gentlemen. I am Faust, Captain of the Invisible. You saved my life, Jazz. I swear I'll return the favor. And now I have to go. Hope to see you again, Jazz. Sail on an even keel, Faust. Welcome to our glorious town of Tyre, Jazz. I've been here before. Cain is famous for its dance and slave market. I know a place not far from here, an opium den called the Seven Sorrows. It can be difficult at night to find a place where two sailors can rest after a long voyage. Well, let's take a walk around the city. Where have you brought me? I don't like this place at all. Stop worrying! It's as safe here as on board the ship. Wait for me here. I'll have a look at the place to see what's going on there. Ships do sink sometimes. Gotcha! You didn't expect to see us here, did ya? I'm always glad to meet friends in a foreign land. Of course. You come with us. 
Hugo the antiquarian wants to talk to you about the goods and the ship. What are you talking about, guys? Hank will answer all the questions. Don't try and deny it. You killed Hank and stolen all the goods, haven't you? Yeah, you are cool. What are you up to, guys? Looking for trouble? You're in enough trouble already. Go, no, brother. See you, Jazz. And no one won't be able to help you then. Help. There's a wounded man with me. Here he is. He's the one who attacked, beat and robbed the noble merchants. What has he done to this man? Look, he's unconscious. That's a mistake. I'm not to blame for this. We know what we're doing. You're the one who made a mistake by coming here. There's no jail in Cayenne. We've got a slave market. All criminals get sent there to be sold as slaves. The money we get for you will pay for the damage you cause the merchants. Truth is stranger than fiction. plate is empty, and I've got some food, but no plate. Want some food? Are you serious? Sure, take some. What have you done? It's my plate. I warned you. Watch your goods. Who will reimburse me now? I'm the victim. I already paid for the wine. What? Why should I pay for anything? Hey, pigs, which one of you two broke the jug? I thought you said it was your plate. Yes, but... You pig! Faust, help me. Think of something. Catch. If all goes well, I'll see you in Caravansary. Keep still, slaves. My goods need to be nice looking. If you do as you're told, you'll be free. I do not believe you. I reckon this is the right time for you to stretch your legs. this in memory of the sweetest guy. Sir, is Caravansary far from here? Tea sets? As though people come here to drink tea. A beautiful thing. It vaguely reminds me of something. Oh, it's too hot. I can't pick it up. Rubbish. How come it, at night this small lab helps the travelers find a way?
Who said the poker had to be hot? Anyway, the guy's asleep. Does it matter what he's holding? I've got something for you, sir. Oh, thank you, stranger. Let me tell you that I have an important position in my country. I am the main eunuch in the harem of our incomparable sultan. I come to Cayenne to buy a young girl at the slave market, and I don't know what happened to me. I've spent all the money here. I can't go back now. If you can find a fine woman for me, I promise to take you to Caravansary. Deal? From here, go on back to the city. If you happen to meet a laundress with a carpet, tell her to get a move on. She's expected at the palace. Nice curtains. Not a new rag in sight. Poverty's a way of life on this block. I think that's exactly what I need. But this carpet's hanging too high. The wall looks much better without a carpet. As though people come here to drink tea. So many dragons, too many to count. Need a veil. The gentleman would like to give a present to his lady? That's an excellent decision. What can you offer in return, my good man? I need to think about it. I'll always be glad to see you. Where does this come from? I've never seen a clock here before.
let me offer you this beautiful thing. It's a wonderful mechanism. I've been dreaming of something like this all my life. Here's the veil. You can change in the opium den. I'd rather not do that. Many dragons, too many to kill. I'd rather not do that. Coals in this brazier always smolder. Press, sir. Come in for a Cleaning the carpet so slowly, we'll have to find another laundress. You're working slowly, woman. Take another carpet and go away.
Get into the carpet, my beauty. You'll be safe here. We are heading for Caravansary. We'd better hurry. The Sultan doesn't like waiting. Man, that stinks. I better look for another men's room in the desert. Bellows. I'll borrow these for a while. The blacksmith cools horseshoes and stuff in this barrel. Bellows. Glad to see you, Faust. I'd like to thank you. If you hadn't helped me, I would have been a slave till the end of my days. Don't mention it. It was you who saved my life in the tavern on the Black Isles. That's true. I wonder why the stork captain is so angry with you, if I may ask. I met him in the tavern. I was looking for the girl he had brought to the Black Isles. I asked him about her and he told me that he knew nothing. He wasn't very polite about it either. Then we got into a fight. The police came into the tavern and arrested him for starting the fight. And that's about it. And what do you need this girl for, Faust? I love her. I fell in love with her the first time I saw her. She wanted to rent my ship for a voyage to Cayenne. But I had a passenger already. A stranger with a red beard. He gave me this crystal as an advance payment and ordered me to wait for him in Urelp port. I never saw him again. I guess you won't get to see him now. He was killed back there in Air Elp. He and the other foreigner had their heads chopped off. And it was your beloved who did it. I don't believe that. Unfortunately, that's the bitter truth. Try to remember if she had any luggage, a box or a bag. She only had a saber. She threw it away in the sea. I see. It was a saber she used to chop their heads off. But where's the treasure? Did she have anything else with her, like money or jewelry? She is the treasure. I would have given up all the treasure in the world for her. Don't you understand? She's the murderer. I'll explain it all to you. I was sitting in a prison cell for gin smuggling. Well, well that's not the point. And a man comes in. Run! Try to distract this cat, Faust, and I'll think of something. It's too far away. We need to solve this problem right now. It's too far away. Too far away. Okay, cat. Wonder how long you'll stay calm. Magic is magic, but I put more trust in good old iron. Noble lifesavers, my lady would like to meet you. Oh, it's you. Excuse me, haven't we met before? Oh, you're the captain I met in Erelp. 
And you're the lady who chops heads like cabbages. What are you talking about? Who are you? Let me introduce myself. I am Jazz. I've heard all about your adventures in Air Elp. Besides, I found out about the treasure. Okay, I'll tell you everything. I am a princess, and my father used to be king of the land known as Red Sands. The dastardly al Qaim and his allies, led by that crafty Salim, overthrew my father and took power. They stormed the palace and killed all our people. By al Qaim's order, his nephew Salim beheaded my father. al Qaim became a cruel and greedy king. I was only a child at that time, but I swore to take revenge for my father. When I grew up, al Qaim made me his concubine. I made him fall passionately in love with me, and I waited for the right moment to arrive. God must have heard my prayers and allowed a rebellion to break out. After al Qaim lost the final battle, he ran away and took me with him. His nephew Salim came with us. al Qaim had stolen all the treasure that belonged to the ruling dynasty. We got lost in the desert and wandered around aimlessly for a long time. Finally, we came across the City of the Dead and stopped to rest there for the night. Knowing how insatiably greedy Salim was, I decided to persuade him to kill al Qaim in his sleep so that he could take me and the treasure. But that coward Salim didn't have the courage to kill al Qaim in his sleep. Salim decided to run away and leave al Qaim in the desert, hoping that he would die of thirst and hunger. We hid most of the treasure in the City of the Dead so that we could return later to pick it up. We took camels, horses, and water and hurried away, leaving al Qaim to die. But he survived and chased after us. Salim was trembling with fear, so I suggested he set a trap. Of course, he had no idea that it was meant for him, too. We sailed across the sea and found ourselves in Erelp. I dressed as a man and settled in a deserted house in the country together with Salim. We knew that al Qaim would find us, but we were ready for him. When al Qaim rushed into the house, Salim was behind the door with a saber in his hand, and he chopped al Qaim's head off. Now it was my turn to take revenge on Salim for my father's death. I was lucky, and Salim's head fell close to his uncle's. I had kept my word. So none of it's your fault. But there's one thing that's nagging me. Why should Salim come to the police station and jabber about Salim's ghost, pretending that he's al Qaim? He did it to cover his tracks. When the headless body was found the next morning, the police would think that a man named al Qaim was dead. And who killed him, the ghost or a slave, would be a puzzle that nobody would bother to try and solve. After all, who would care about a crazy merchant from across the sea? And what about the treasure? I have taken my revenge. Now we can decide what to do with the treasure. I have a crystal which opens the road to it, but I won't be able to get it without your help. I think you and I are going to come to an understanding. Lusa, I've wanted to tell you for a long time. I think I'll leave you alone. It's late already. Let's talk tomorrow. The bag with a magic crystal? Hmm. You never know what women are up to. Maybe I'll possess the treasure, or maybe I'll get my head chopped off like al Qaim. I reckon I should try to get the treasure on my own, but I need to find a way to the City of the Dead. A ripe apple. in a storm with my caravan and got lost. Wandering around the desert, I came across a deserted city and escaped from there by a miracle through... Who's that? I wonder what happened next. Seems like they don't want to discuss it with me around. They went into the house. How can I eavesdrop on their conversation?
a hot coal. Looks like there's a bit more space here. How can I get to the window? I wonder whose camel this is. Come here, beast. I escaped from the city of the dead through a well, wandered around the underground vault for a long time, and saw the light not far from here. I have gone through much fear from... I'm a sailor. I hate underground vaults. Looks like I'm gonna have to become a miner if I'm gonna get this treasure. Ancient gods? Who's put them in this terrible place? stones would be of any use. A trolley. It used to carry coal or gems. This wood's been rotten for a hundred years. I'm surprised the ceiling hasn't fallen in yet. Aggression is the sign of narrow-mindedness. Where am I? What do you want from me? Looks like I've been captured by an underground Yehu tribe. I thought that Bigfoot was just a legend. He looks like he needs help. I'm no good at quarrying. I need to figure something out. Hey, jerk. Whoever you are, help me. You understand? Pull. Pull! I've got <laughs> Jazz, what's going on? Why have you stolen my half of the crystal? 
Don't you know you need both halves of the crystal to enter the dungeon? Friends, what are you suspecting me of? I just wanted to check out the situation and then come back. I have no choice but to believe you, Jazz. Give me my half of the crystal back. Take it. The crystal was safer with me than unguarded under the shed. And where's the other half of the crystal? I have it, Jazz. We must stick together if we are to get the treasure. Maybe this'll calm you down. Thank you, Jazz. That's much better. Clad Hydra. It's hard to get away from that. We must save our princess. She has one half of the crystal. What a disgusting creature. This creature is protecting its nest. We need to distract it somehow. Night beasts respond to light. Try to distract this creature, Faust. ropes such as this. Even a camel could get tangled up in this spider's web. Hey, you beast. Don't you want some lunch? Cut the ropes. Full speed ahead. The Hydra is destroyed. I even feel sorry for it. And it's too high up here. She'll be killed.
take the cocoon from the ground and take care of our princess. I'm a sailor, not a spider. I'd like to help you, but I do not know how. The crystal is the key to the treasury, and the dragon guards its gates. Here, take my half of the crystal. Take my half too, Jazz. I'd rather not do that. I gave you the crystal! Come on, Jazz, do something! I don't like the way he's looking at us. Friends, it seems to me the dragon moved when I stepped on one of the slabs. Let's all try together. It's a bit far away. What if I miss? The crystal will break and that's it. It's a bit far away. What if I miss? The crystal will break and that's it. Direct hit. Advance. Those who kill me shall not have it. I lay curses upon you, you, Lusa, and these people will all return to the time when you knew nothing of each other, or the treasure. Is this name the invisible? The ship is mine. I'm hiring this ship. Hurry up, sailor. My name is Faust. I am captain of this ship, and I prefer people to talk to me politely. It's too early to discuss money yet. I am in a hurry, Faust. And your ship, as I can see, needs to be repaired. Get aboard. We are sailing off. business to do in her elf. Wait for me here, Captain. Be ready to put out to sea. I hope I will get some time to have a good sleep. Captain, I need to get to Cayenne urgently. I am sorry, lady. I am ordered to leave the Black Isles. Try and hire another ship. Thank you, Captain. I'll follow your advice. If I fail to hire a ship to Cayenne, I'll come back and sail with you.
you take me to Cayenne? I will pay you handsomely. Lady, I would have been happy to help you, but I cannot do that. Why not? Sweet girl, the ship has been hired already. I am sorry. What a pity. Captain, I am ready to leave for the Black Isles with you. Let us go then! How beautiful she is. Oh, what a fool am I. I didn't ask her name. How shall I find her? A gem. I guess that charming girl dropped it. I will surely find her and this crystal will turn out to be a good reason to get acquainted. Hey, what's that noise? Be quiet, gentlemen, please calm down. In relation to the investigation of a crime that was committed last night, the port has been declared closed. No ship may leave it without special permission. Do I make myself clear? Sonny, don't you have a cigar for old Hank? Afraid not. Oh, that's a shame. I always like a good cigar when I'm having a chat. All port taverns are the same. Smashed up furniture, lousy beer, broken plates and dishes. Don't mind this guy. He's losing, can't you see? Don't butt in. I'm gonna smash you. Can I interest you in a weapon? I've got a superb pistol for you. A collector's item. Not my cup of tea. Sir, please do not distract me from my work. Poor chair. It's quite lame. It looks like things got hot in here yesterday. I get you. Could you spare me a minute, sweet girl? Tell me the news in or help. Well, the only news is of a terrible murder committed somewhere in the country. Two people were killed and decapitated, and the murderers took one of the heads with them. The people of Er Elp are afraid to go out at night. That is the news, sir. I'm sorry, but now I must get back to work. That's it. The murder. Doesn't my strange passenger have something to do with that? I guess I could get arrested as an accessory to the crime. Who is the captain of the Invisible? I was informed that he was here. I am Faust, captain of the Invisible. Please follow me. I've got some questions for you. I ain't policeman. What about you? It's bad to leave a man in need, even if he is a cop. It's bad to leave a man in need, even if he is a cop. Smuggled gin. What a loathsome thing. I guess I'm being stupid, but order is order. Do not butt in when the police are working, young man. I would have managed myself. I promise to mind my own business next time. Let's talk to you now. We have received some information about you. Information? What have I done? The ship named the Invisible has been seen attacking merchant vessels, smuggling, slave trading, etc. A long list, I would say. But that's an outrageous lie. Perhaps you're right. 
but the invisible will be impounded until the circumstances of the case are clarified. So what should I do? Well, I don't know. Give me some proof of your innocence. Will that be enough? What have you got there? Money? Could you lend me some? Unofficially. I would be happy to. Well, I'm happy to congratulate you. All the accusations against you turned out to be groundless. You may go. Can I sail from ur Elp right now? Oh, no. The port is temporarily closed. A terrible murder happened in the city, you know. Right now, no ship can leave without special permission. A special permission? Yes, but you must get it from the chief of police. You got rid of the policeman pretty easy, fella. But I don't reckon you'll be able to stay out of jail. What are you talking about? I know that last night you brought a man to Ur Alp, and that in the morning he was found beheaded. You seem to have had enough time to get acquainted with our police. So go and try to prove that you have nothing to do with the murder. What do you want from me? Oh, nothing big. Just a trifle. I want to sell some old stock. A pistol. I have no money on me at all. OK, come back when you're a bit richer. But don't wait too long. And don't try to leave her help. I've got my people everywhere, and that includes in the police. Oh, God. What a city. Open up, police. Oh no, I've confused everything. A beautiful day, Captain. Would you like to buy something? What a wide choice of goods I got. The goods are fine, but I've got no money. Get out then! The gem? It has been certainly stolen. How much do you want for it? I'm not going to sell it. May I pawn it? Pawn? Is even better. I don't think you'll be able to get it out of pawn. Hey, kid. Do you know why the port is closed? My mom doesn't let me talk to strangers. But if you have some candy or something for me... Good boy. Listen to your mom. You bet! There's no doubt it's a wonderful pistol. But it fires when it wants. But never mind that. You're a discerning customer. I hope you will hold your tongue. Forget about my passenger. Which passenger? Well, I have to get back to my business, so I must take my leave. Goodbye. Bye. A coin. Probably a lucky one. Just the usual Chinese stuff. Thieves are not welcome in Arel. Understand? Hey kid, could you do me a favor, please? I need someone to fool the merchant with smooth talk. Leave me alone, mister. <laughs> Grown up and still so stupid. Take this coin, boy. Go and buy some candy. Oh, it's another pair of shoes! I'll chat the merchant to death. How are you, boy? Do you want some candies? No. My friend and I have a bet that I can steal anything from you, even if I tell you about it in advance. <laughs> well, I've told you now. 
Well, give it a try. But if I catch you wet-handed, I'll skin you alive. Deal. Deal. What a minute. There was a crystal here. Come on, guy. Put it back. Or you want to go to prison? I just wanted to take a look at it. Are you taking me for a fool? You wanted to distract my attention to help this young scoundrel win a bet? Nothing will come of it. I have a feeling that it's time for me to say farewell to her help. Now nothing prevents me from chasing the mysterious lady. you'll ever make. It had better be urgent. I am Faust, Captain of the Invisible. I need to set sail from Ur-Elf today. What do I care? I need your permission. On what grounds, might I ask? Your, your case. Here is your permission. Thank you. Mysterious Lady has set sail for the Black Isles, so I shall sail there as well. I'm determined to find this girl. Good afternoon. Well, it might be good for some people, but for others it might not. It depends. I'm looking for someone from the crew or passengers of the ship. Leave me alone. There's a lot of problems with you. never see the sea again. I'll cry with pity for you. Carp! <laughs> this fishing net is old. You don't need it. There are lots of new ones in the warehouse. I wonder what's in these bags, but I'm never gonna find out. Barrel with water. Someday I'll be cracking with the heat on the coast like this. An old man who nobody needs. Just a dirty rag. Why put it in full view of everyone? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Come down, little cat. Hi, kid. Have you come across anyone from the store? Maybe, maybe not. Mister, I need to find my cat. 
If you bring it to me, I'll tell you where to find the captain of the store. Bet this fish is all the fisherman has for lunch. It's disgusting. I hate slavery and I hate cruelty even more than that. like the flood. I feel more comfortable like this. Could have done better. I guess I'm not myself today. Matilda! Thank you, sir. You were looking for the captain of the stork? He's spending his second day getting drunk in the tavern. That's all, sir. I have to go wash my cat. Sir, I'm looking for the captain of the ship named the Stork. That's Bisa. Let us have a drink. Not now. There's something I want to discuss with you. You don't want a drink? You are not a sailor then. I do not talk to land rights. I guess you've had too much to drink. Listen, I need your help. I'm looking for the girl you brought from Ur-El. Are you going to teach me to drink, you fool? Yes, I have brought the girl here, but I do not care about her whereabouts at the moment. Get out before I hurt you, land rat! Take it easy, man. I'm a sailor, same as you. It seems to me you know where your passenger is, but you don't want to tell me. I don't believe you, man. Call me a liar! Now you will find out who you are dealing with! Kicking up a fuss again, drunkard. You're coming with us. You're under arrest. You'll have plenty of time to sober up in jail. It's all because of you! Call yourself a sailor! Someday I'll show you what's what! I guess I just made an enemy. As for finding the girl, I'm no further forward. Maybe I should ask about her here on the Black Isles. I'm looking for a tall, beautiful lady with green eyes and a noble bearing. A girl? I wish I had your problems, matey. What happened to you? Maybe I can help. Look, I'm a fisherman. My business has been through a rough patch recently. But my ear's in debt. I even had to pawn my fishing net. How am I gonna feed my family? Have you by any chance met a beautiful lady here? She came here yesterday. I haven't seen any girl. Hmm, the fishing net is not bad. How much do you want for it? We don't sell old stuff. Come over to the warehouse if you like. All the new nets are being stored there. But be careful with the fire. There's a lot of cotton in the warehouse. Yeah. 
Calm down. Stop shouting. I need to examine the fishing nets. You shouldn't touch anything here. Yes, this net cannot be easily removed. What have I done? Fire! Fire! I'm burning! It's getting hot in here. It's high time I got some fresh air. Fire! Fire! I'm burning! Follow me, lazy bones. Fetch some water. I've got a generous nature. Burning down a warehouse for an old fishing net? Have you redeemed my fishing net? My children and grandchildren would pray for your health, kind sir. Oh yes, they will be praying. The owner of the burnt warehouse will be cursing me. It would be better if you told me what you know about the beautiful girl brought to the Black Isles by the ship named the Stork. Here yeah, I've seen her. She left the Black Isles on the slave trader ship. They appear to be sailing to Cayenne. Damn it. I need to get to Cayenne quickly. Good luck, my good man. Damn it. I cannot set sail from these cursed isles until I have my ship repaired. But where can I get the money to do that? Order anything, Captain. Thank you. Do you have a job for me, please? I need money badly. I certainly do, but no one has been able to do it. Not far from here, in the bamboo woods, a terrible beast has appeared. He dragged a local shaman into the forest, and we cannot take our revenge. If only we could find a brave man who could beat the monster. Is there a reward? If you are lucky enough to save us from this beast, which I greatly doubt, you will be handsomely rewarded, that's for sure. I don't have a lot of choice. I need to get to Cayenne, and the sooner the better. It's impossible to anticipate what you might need to trap a monster, but to my mind it's quite a pretty rope. I wonder what rubbish this carriage held during its lifetime. A good axe that won't cut the monster down, but... Hmm, a bone. It's too small and the monster won't rise to this bait. But it'll do for a smaller animal. Ancient deity. I've heard about this, as I remember it. They used to sacrifice dogs to it. The people who did that were beasts. I won't go to the monster's jaws. Trees. Maybe they will do to make a trap. A sailor is equal to any task. This beast needs a good cage. Now I need a long rope to shut the door when the monster is in the cage. I can slam the trap's door from a safe distance. Good job. Now I need some bait. Hmm. 
I reckon there's something under this barrel the monster's going to enjoy. I reckon there's something under this barrel the monster's going to enjoy. Come on, dog. Follow me. We have a lot to do. Now all I can do is sit and wait. What if the monster has trouble with his ears or doesn't like the taste of dog's flesh? Well, I'll put something with attracting smell in the cage. This poor man doesn't have enough to eat. I bet this fish is all the fisherman has for lunch. I don't think he'll mind if I take this fish head. Here you are, little bird. I did it. The monster is trapped. You're not so frightful. I'll take you with me. You're not so frightful. You're not so frightful. I'll take you with me. You saved our people, Captain. We will never forget that. I swear that our grandchildren will remember you. We have repaired your ship and take this amulet as a keepsake from all of us. It has come from a faraway land. It might be useful to you on your travels. Well, it's time for you to go. And don't forget to take this terrible beast with you. I'm glad I was able to help you. Now I've really got to go. Hey, what's going on here? Leave this man in peace. In peace? No problem. I can't both be dead. Forever. We'll tip you with daggers now. Give us your cash. He's got a pistol. It's impossible to work under such conditions. Let's run away. Are you all right? Are you wounded? We'd better not hang around in the street. These scumbags may come back. I can't imagine what I've done without you. Where are we now? In the opium den named Seven Sorrows. People smoke opium here. That's just what I need right now. I'm so nervous. I need to have a rest and relax. This person has just been robbed. He's very upset and scared. I have a remedy for this. It will help you and your friends to relax, sir. Perhaps this will help you. What is your name, Savior? My name is Faust. I am captain of the ship named the Invisible. I would like to reward you, Faust. Fortunately, I am rich enough. Take this money. I think you will make good use of it. And now leave me alone. I am exhausted. I hope to see you again. We are glad you are here, sir. You are always welcome in old Fu Chin's opium den. We have the best opium for you, sir. You can have a rest, relax, and drive your sorrows away, sir.
My dear Fu Chin, my name is Faust. I dropped in to while away the night and listen to the gossip. As for your potion, it's not for me. I don't want to cloud my mind. Come in, Mr. Faust, please. Be my guest. I am looking for a beautiful red-haired girl. She has recently arrived in Cayenne. I seldom need my small bath. Uh, I don't know anything about the girl. The best thing you could do now is postpone the search till the morning. And then I would recommend you go to the port and talk to the money changer. He knows many things and his memory is very good. It will soon be morning and I will take your advice, dear Fu Chen. Meanwhile, tell me what's new in the city. Nothing special, sir, except for one thing. A powerful sultan has appeared in some city somewhere in the desert. He is said to be passing rich, and his treasure is increasing day by day. They also say that he is kindred to some mysterious dark forces. The only treasure I'm interested in at the moment is the red-haired girl. Well, Fuchin, it's morning already. I gotta start searching. Good luck, mister. Warmest greetings, sir. I am looking for the red-haired girl. She has recently arrived in Cayenne from the Black Isles. One good turn deserves another. I will make an inquiry about the lady you are interested in, and in return, you will do something for me. What should I do? My assistant disappeared with a large amount of my money, one-eyed scoundrel. I want you to bring him to me. Or at least help me to recover the money stolen by this little thief. Still too weak. Go to the market, Faust, and buy some wine with all that money I gave you. Okay, let's talk later. see that little thief than the money. But all right, let him live. Where is the promised information? Oh yes, information. A beautiful red-headed lady was seen descending to the wharf from the slaver's ship. Where was she going? What do you mean, where? To the slaves' market, of course. She was part of a crowd of slaves to be sold at the market. Oh no. Damn it! I must save her. Please to be of help. Why should I go there? This is not the time for wandering around the countryside.
I am looking for a beautiful red-haired slave. She was brought here yesterday. Oh, yes! It is difficult to miss such a beauty. One foreign merchant bought her in twinkling of an eye. But how to find him? I do not know. I guess I know who bought the girl, but I will need some wine to make sure. Wine? The port money changer will help you. You can buy whatever you like in his shop. I do for you. I need some wine, but I don't have any money to pay for it. I can give you some wine. What can you give me in exchange? A pistol. Does it work? Sure. It saved my life a hundred times. I take the pistol. You get the wine. Just find a jug or something to pour it into. Where can I find that? That's not my problem. Please sell me this jug. Where would I keep my cobra then? I'm suggesting an exchange. A jug for a delight of paradise. Oh, it's too tempting. I can't resist the potion. My nerves aren't that good even without this hissing. The jug is for wine, but I can't imagine what to do with the cobra. It has overheated. wine you asked for. Come again. You have a wonderful shop, sir. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Thank you, Faust. I feel much better now. What can I do for you? I am looking for a slave girl. She's got wonderful red hair and beautiful emerald eyes. I heard she was bought by some foreign merchant. You are right. I am vizier of the great sultan of the city of Red Sands. I came to Cayenne on a delicate mission which I was able to fulfill only because of you. I bought this woman as a present for my master. The Sultan is fond of beautiful things. You have told me many times that you are in my debt. Please comply with my request. Take me with you to the city of Red Sands. It's not as simple as it may seem, Faust. 
My lord does not welcome foreigners. Unless you had something very unusual, then the Sultan would probably be glad to see you. Something unusual? What about a rare animal? A monster from the Black Isles? Would he like that? Oh, I think a gift like that would melt the heart of our almighty Sultan. Okay, let's go together. Here is the money to buy camels and food from the market. The gold is jingling in my pocket again. Jazz, what are you doing here? What happened? I'll tell you later, Faust. Just get me free. Hey, don't touch the goods. I'm about to travel a long way. I need two strong camels and food for the journey. Camels are well-priced nowadays. I'm about to travel a long way. I need two strong camels and food for the journey. Camels are well priced nowadays. I am pleased to deal with gentlemen like you. You have nothing to worry about. I'll deliver camels and food wherever you like. I want to buy that starveling over there. A starveling? Precious, don't you see? Just have a look. A sturdy and stately fellow. Okay, I suggest an exchange. I'll give you a young camel for this puny creature. A deal. I agree. Tell me what happened to you, Jazz. I'm sorry, Faust, but I'm in a big hurry right now. I've lost too much time already. Let's meet on the way. Do you know where Caravansary is? Let's talk over there. Thanks for your help. I asked you to buy two camels. Now you will have to walk. I'll see you at the nearest stop, just behind the Wasp Canyon. Good luck. See you. I've got arrows, but I can't see any bow. Why do I need it? Not for wasp shooting, I guess. This construction looks unsafe. This was a luxurious cloak once. Poor thing, eaten up by wasps. A great many warriors might have died here. Oh, it's impossible to hide from these flying creatures like this.
You are a handsome man now. If only the wasps would sting these bones and not me. But how can I do it? I need some bait. I wonder how you attract wild wasps. So, all insects like sweet things. I can offer you some honey, but what will you give me in exchange? An amusing item. I will give to my son so that he can learn to shoot. I dread to think what's about to start now. I could find myself in his shoes. It's high time I got out of here. Faust, help! Faust, where are you? Ah! I shouldn't have called this sword a rotten piece of iron. Who are you, brave youth? I think I've seen you before. My name is Faust, lady. I'm captain of the Invisible who refused to take you to Cayenne from her help. Ah, uh, I regret it so much. I've been looking for you everywhere, and I have finally found you. Do not talk anymore. You are wounded. My name is Lusa. I am a slave now. They are taking me to the Sultan's harem. Run away with me, Lusa. I can't allow you to become a Sultan's concubine. We cannot run away now, Faust. You are wounded. I will have to go to the city of Red Sands and wait for you to recover and come and save me. Shh. There is someone here. Here is our savior. This is not the first time you have saved my life, Faust. I am in your debt now. I swear, I'll tell the Sultan of your deed. What a pity you are unable to go with us. Your wounds must heal and your body needs rest. I will give you my servant. He'll take care of you and take you to Caravansary. Ahmed, you will answer with your life for our hero. Now we must leave. His Majesty the Sultan will be displeased at our long absence. Don't worry, sir. The way to Caravansary will be easy. I'll take care of you. Medicine may come in handy during the trip. Could you tell me the road to Red Sands, please, noble merchants? The city of Red Sands? What do you expect to find there? It is a cursed place. On our way there, the caravan was robbed. I swore to forget the way there. I have no choice. I need to get there at all costs. Well, we could give you a map. Not for free, of course. What would you want in return? We need to shoe our mules. We need horseshoes for them. All I need is a few horseshoes. How long will it take you to make them? I'll be able to make them as soon as I have iron. Will that be enough to make horseshoes? Come back later. How much do I owe you for your work? Oh, it's nothing. Thank you, Smith.
Ah, you brought what we asked for. Take the map. A deal's a deal. But if I were you, I would never go to that city. Flowers. A road covered with roses. If you ask me, I've earned it. Flowers. A road covered with roses. If you ask me, I've earned it. So, at last you are recovered. I'm very glad to see you. Let us go. I will introduce you to His Majesty the Sultan. Oh, my Sovereign Lord, permit me to introduce the hero I have told you about. I am familiar with your deeds, brave youth. And the unusual beast you sent me as a present made my heart rejoice. What is your name? name? Oh, greatest of sovereigns, my name is Faust. Help yourself, Faust. It's crazy to read the message here. Your heroism filled our hearts with joy. His Majesty graciously agrees to fulfill any request of yours. Ask for anything you want. Oh, mighty sovereign, give me your new concubine, Lusa, please. What? How dare you ask me for a favor like that? If you are seen in this city again, it will cost you your head. Faust, my love, I am so glad to see you again. I have everything ready for a runaway. You must get over the palace walls tonight. I will go out on the balcony as soon as I hear the whistle. See you soon, my love. Lusa. I hope nothing will prevent me from seeing Lusa. Are you ready, my love? Get down. Everything is ready for our escape from this damned city. I am so sorry, Faust. We shall have to postpone our escape. Soon the Sultan and I will go to the deserted temple. If we run away now, they will soon start looking for us, and our plan will be doomed. What should I do, Lusa? When we go to the deserted temple, follow us, but don't let yourself be seen. Maybe we'll figure out something over there. I've seen this picture somewhere before. Are you doing, freaks? I let your tribe live on my land, and this is the thanks I get? Instead of robbing strangers' caravans, you have attacked mine? <laughs> How dare you talk to me, fool! I'll... <laughs> Maybe this will cheer you up. Weird guys. Why should I need that? But their presence may come in handy later. Don't I look like a sultan? Hey, guards. Wait for me here 
and do not let anyone come out of the temple. You, Lusa, come with me. Lusa, don't you recognize me? It's me, Faust. Oh, Faust, how happy I am. I thought you'd been killed in that dreadful temple. Procrastination is the thief of time. Let's run. But my maidservant is in the palace. I cannot leave her there. Besides, I left a treasure of mine in the palace. The precious crystal. I hid it in the cage with that unusual beast you sent the Sultan as a present. Wait for me here, Lusa. I'll go into the palace and fetch your maidservant and the crystal. Be careful. Show this ring to my maidservant. Then she will believe that you are my beloved. Listen. You were sent by my lady. Oh, just a moment. Sleep well, animal. Hmm, it looks as if I've got two halves of the crystal. I've never seen such a big stone before. I fetched this half of the crystal from the beast cage, and this is the half you lost on the key in Ur-Elp. Thank goodness the other half of the crystal is here. I thought it was lost forever. Do keep it, please. This crystal will bring us happiness and wealth. Glad to see you, Faust. I wanted to thank you for saving me from slavery. Oh, it's nothing. It was you who saved my life in the tavern on the Black Isles. That's true. I wonder why the captain of the stork is so mad at you. I met him in the tavern. I was looking for the girl he had brought to the Black Isles. I asked him questions. He said he knew nothing and was rude. Then we quarreled. The police arrived at the tavern and arrested him. And that's about it. And what do you need this girl for, Faust? I love her. I fell in love with her at first sight. She wanted to hire my ship for a voyage to Cayenne, but I had a passenger already, a stranger with a red beard. He gave me this crystal as an advance payment and ordered me to wait for him in Urelp port. I haven't seen him since. You failed to meet your passenger because he was killed in Urelp. He and another foreigner had their heads chopped off. And it was your beloved who did it. That cannot be true. There must be some mistake here. Unfortunately, this is the bitter truth. Try to remember if she had any luggage, a box or a bag. She only had a saber. She threw it away into the sea. She chopped their heads off with the saber. But where is the treasure? Try to remember if she had the treasure with her, like money or jewelry. She is the treasure. I would have given up all the world's treasure for her. She will be here soon. I've rescued her from the Sultan's harem. Come on, Jazz. I'll introduce you to my beloved. Lusa, let me introduce you to my friend Jazz. Glad to meet you, Jazz. Faust has told me a lot about you. I've heard a lot about you, too. I happened to be an air elf on that very day, remember? I also know about the treasure. Okay, I'll tell you everything. I am a princess, and my father used to be king of the land known as Red Sands. The dastardly al Qaim and his allies, led by that crafty Salim, overthrew my father and took power. They stormed the palace and killed all our people. By al Qaim's order, his nephew Salim beheaded my father. al Qaim became a cruel and greedy king. I was only a child at that time, but I swore to take revenge for my father. When I grew up, al Qaim made me his concubine. I made him fall passionately in love with me, and I waited for the right moment to arrive. God must have heard my prayers and allowed a rebellion to break out. After Al-Qaim lost the final battle, he ran away and took me with him. 
His nephew Salim came with us. al Qaim had stolen all the treasure that belonged to the ruling dynasty. We got lost in the desert and wandered around aimlessly for a long time. Finally, we came across the City of the Dead and stopped to rest there for the night. Knowing how insatiably greedy Salim was, I decided to persuade him to kill al Qaim in his sleep so that he could take me and the treasure. But that coward Salim didn't have the courage to kill al Qaim in his sleep. Salim decided to run away and leave al Qaim in the desert, hoping that he would die of thirst and hunger. We hid most of the treasure in the City of the Dead so that we could return later to pick it up. We took camels, horses, and water and hurried away, leaving al Qaim to die. But he survived and chased after us. Salim was trembling with fear, so I suggested he set a trap. Of course, he had no idea that it was meant for him, too. We sailed across the sea and found ourselves in Erelp. I dressed as a man and settled in a deserted house in the country together with Salim. We knew that al Qaim would find us, but we were ready for him. When al Qaim rushed into the house, Salim was behind the door with a saber in his hand, and he chopped al Qaim's head off. Now it was my turn to take revenge on Salim for my father's death. I was lucky, and Salim's head fell close to his uncle's. I had kept my word. And what about the treasure? I have taken my revenge. Now we can decide what to do with the treasure. I have a crystal which opens the road to it, but I won't be able to get it without your help. I think you and I are going to come to an understanding. Lusa, I need to talk to you. I think I'll leave you alone. It's late already. Let's talk tomorrow. Your friend has betrayed us. He stole my half of the crystal and set off to the city of the dead. I cannot believe it. I know he can explain everything. Anyway, he won't be able to get the treasure alone. One half of the crystal is not enough to open the treasury. Done. Let's go to the City of the Dead and meet Jazz there to clear things up. Not the best place for a rest. A bloody tree? Don't tell me tales. I'm doomed to drown. I'd rather it were in the sea than in this slush. Oh dear, what a somber place. It's worse than a cemetery. An instructive view. Hey you, bloody log, leave the girl alone. I've got something tastier for you. We cannot stay here long. Bloody trees are insatiable. That's what my grandma told me. Jazz? What's going on? Why have you stolen my half of the crystal? Don't you know you need both halves of the crystal to enter the dungeon? Friends, what are you suspecting me of? I just wanted to check out the situation and then come back. I have no choice but to believe you, Chaz. Give me my half of the crystal back. You can take it. The crystal was safer with me. And where's the other half of the crystal? I have it, Jazz. We must stick together if we are to get the treasure. What a terrible thing this city of the dead is. What a nasty thing. No, that's just stupid. C 
creatures born of darkness. No wonder they hate light. <laughs> I'll keep it as a souvenir. Otherwise, the others won't believe me. The crystal is the key to the treasury, and the dragon guards its gates. Here, take my half of the crystal. Friends, it seems to me the dragon moved when I stepped on one of the slabs. Let's try all together. Direct hit. On your marks. Go! Thank you. 